Welcome to Chugging with Fitz. Today, we are going to do a load from Des Moines, Iowa, over to North Liberty, Iowa, and then from Waterloo, Iowa, on up to Cresco, and then return back to the house. Pretty good day. Pretty good day, and stay tuned for some trucking. All right, we're in Des Moines at our pickup. Get back into a door. I gotta get my doors open, obviously. All right, doors are open. Let's get back into this door. Shouldn't be too difficult. I think I need to get a little over to this side. Um, yeah. No one else here. That's what I love about these smaller jobs, smaller companies. Cause you got a good chance of being the only one that's here. And, well that makes life so much easier. When they're not trying to get to a bunch of trucks at the same time. me as I go back and forth here and make it just right they weren't I I got here right at, at opening so they're not really prepared for me I guess you'd say um, so I'm not in a huge rush to get back to this door as quick as possible I would like to do it well. I think we got it much better now. We're gonna call that good. I'll probably pop in and make sure the door's wide open and out they care. Oop, there we are. Hit that harder than I wanted to. Pop the brakes. Alrighty, let's get loaded. All right, friends, we're all loaded. Um, pretty exciting, we got it done pretty quickly. It's here for about 45 minutes total. Did not take it long at all. Now we're gonna get out of here. You have to decide which way I wanna go. I think I'm gonna go actually to the left right now. Instead of going back the way it came, I'm gonna go straight to the highway, because that's what I'm taking anyway. So that's what we're gonna do. Keep it simple and just go straight to the highway. Uh, I'm not a fan of the fact that I have to go to the highway, but. And I may switch partway through and go to highway six once we're to a place where it, that makes sense. But for right now, Highway 80, Highway 80, Interstate 80 is where we're gonna be. Going east, there's no scale house, so it's just gonna be a nice, easy stroll across, hopefully. 
Hopefully it's not too crazy. It can be, so. We will see, I'm gonna curb it here. Oh man, curb it bad. But it's fine. What a surprise. Places aren't made for a big truck. Not surprised at all, right? Happens all the time. I'm not heavy. Um, and I took it slow around the or I had to pop the curb. Not a big curb. We're good to go. Uh, I think I'm 37,000 pounds in the box. Four forklifts and two charging stations. Pretty simple. All righty. We'll catch you on the, on the road. All right, so we're pulling up to our delivery here and uh, we'll see what we're getting ourselves into. Um, I gotta go to the that, our second at entrance over there um, where that mailman just came from I don't know where I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be here. We're gonna find out. All right, we got figured out where we need to be. I got somebody behind me now. It looks like they're annoyed. Whatever. I'm moving. You can go wherever you want. You could have been fine getting around me. Oh well. I'm going to doors 9 through 16. Um, They still seem annoyed, oh well. You can do whatever you want to. This doesn't look as tight as I thought it was gonna be, honestly. We will be fine. I do think I'll need to, um, my doors open first, which I didn't know if I was gonna have to do or not. will be open. It looks like it's probably going to be this one right here. I will let this guy pass me. And dock 14. Okay. No, we won't. Alright. Let's get our doors open. Well, we're backed in and locked in. They're getting me unloaded. Got my paperwork undone. Um, it was a little bit more difficult than most. It really wasn't that bad. Oh. I wish I would have cut it a little closer to the inside. Um, I actually didn't blindside it. It looks like I blindsided it in, but I didn't. I had to readjust once I was in the hole. And, uh, well, here we are, kind of cockeyed. But the trailer's straight. So it doesn't really matter that much. Um, if the load was really, really heavy, each pallet, yeah. But it, they're forklifts. So they're coming off by themselves. And yeah, it's going to be easy. Red, green light, and I'm good to go. I got my paperwork all good to go. So I need to find out what I'm going to do next. Oh, I should show you. One. I'll show you what's going on on the load board. As far as the... <clears throat> all right. Now you look at that, you can see me in the mirror. Carol, I wish I was somewhere. Oh, that's cheap anyway, never mind. Walford to Council Bluffs. That sounds interesting, but I want to do something straight through today because as you can see, it's 1020 in the morning. Um, if I can get loaded, get delivered again, that would be 
ideal. See this North Cedar Rapids to North Liberty. I'm gonna call on that one. It's not very much money, but if it's short, then yeah. And they're quick. That might be the way to go. In fact, I'm gonna call on that one in just a second. We'll, we'll scroll through a little bit farther. Um, this one I called on earlier. It is driver assist, and I don't have my pallet jack with me. Um, not enough money, according to me. Yeah, this isn't very much money, but if they do it quick, it might even be coming to the same location. I don't know. We will see. Yeah, I'm gonna call on that one. I'll get back with you. All right, friends, we are unloaded. And, sorry for the shake there. We're unloaded and we are booked up with a load. Um, the one I was telling y'all I was gonna call on ended up working out perfectly. So, let's get our, uh, our get out of the way here and get our doors closed. And then we're gonna head up the Waterloo and we're gonna run up to Cresco. Is the plan? All right, let's get these doors closed. This is gonna be easy load. You guys, I believe, have been into this location. It's been a while. Uh, we're just getting a, a load of empty totes, chemical totes, and uh, taking that on up to Cresco. I am going to need to clean that up. Yep, yep, but I'll get up there first. I feel like the last time I was into this place I'm going, it had, it was actually snow on the ground. <laughs> so, that's sort of fun. Yeah, I'm gonna need to sweep this out and make sure there are no, there are no nails sticking up. Because right now there's nails all over the ground. I may stop and get a restroom break and have a place I can use a dumpster and stuff like that. If not, I, there's plenty of space up there for me to do that too, so. That went very smooth. Thankful. Here we go. Let's get out of here. Maybe I'll take you with me on the way out this time. Really need to recharge my AC again. I have the stuff with me. Past Dorn here. Right on out the gate. It is tighter than I would have liked. I'm sure this was designed for 48 foot trailers. A lot of construction here. I hope they decide to uh, give you a little more space uh, to correct your trailer. But it's not the end of the world. Who knows? I might be back here, I might not. I get around this bend here is I got a, a right turn and then another right turn. And that road, you know, I don't know the numbers of this road. I should figure that out. Maybe it'll say it when I pull out. But it's, um, oh, this is interesting. All right, guys, I'm actually going to let you guys go so I can maneuver this. This is one of the reasons I like this road. It's the, uh, 
or 380 rather. Highway 380 is right over there. You have these views. Until you have these views. Huh? Anyway. I would much rather take this road, if possible, um, from Iowa City up to Cedar Rapids. I think it's much more beautiful. It takes longer, and unless you're in the right spot, it doesn't make sense. But I was in the perfect spot, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take this all up, and we're going to take 218 to Waterloo, I believe. Okay, what are you doing? What you doing? Are you turning? You are turning. All right, guys. All right, we're rolling into our location in Waterloo. And uh, y'all probably seen this a while ago, if you watched a while ago. I guess I have a lot more subscribers now than I did back when I would have recorded this. Oh, right before the end of the payment, this is where we turn in. Head back to the back of the building. Maybe it's just to change the pavement. That guy's in a different place, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that I'm in the same place. And that's just more raw materials. We're gonna head back to the same spot. We're gonna go ahead and back in most of the way and uh, wait to open my doors until I get checked in actually. Oh, that is different. Back, back in right next to United. Here, let's see what happens. See if I get in trouble. I doubt I will. I'm not sure this is right. Okay. Well, I ended up being in the wrong dock. We're loaded now. It's basically just a partial, <clears throat> which is confusing to me, but whatever. Um, we're gonna get up on, on up to Cresco. Um, the back wasn't too bad. Pretty simple. Oh, not as easy as this one. But the product was all down at the other end of the building, so. Good to go. Good to go. Every time I've been in here, I've had full loads. All the way to the back of the trailer. Which makes sense, because these are light, obviously. They're plastic totes. Uh, I guess maybe I didn't say that. Plastic, plastic bins and plastic barrels. Um, this is a light load. Not look, the only thing I'm not looking forward to about this situation is pulling out left onto 63. Oh, hold on. He doesn't realize I'm waiting for him. Now he knows. Well, we made it through the turn. Uh, the reason why I was dreading that turn, so, so from, I pulled out, left out of that, that place, then I took a right on two lane, went north, then I took a right on Cedar Wapsie Road. If you know the area, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then I turned left onto Highway 63, which north of Waterloo, where I am right now, it's all four lane, divided highway. Um, so you're turning left on four lanes, and I really do not like turning left on four lanes. Praise the Lord, though, we got uh, pulled right out, which I was very surprised about. Uh, there, I guess it's a dumb thing to be whining about, right? Uh, turning. I'm rolling. I'm loaded. We're making money. Pretty exciting. We only got an hour. 
more to go. It was a total hour and a half drive. Um, probably more like hour 15, 70 miles. So, shouldn't take us long to get up there now. Okay, I'm in Cresco. Checked in here. And I'm going to door four over there I just showed you. I was really hoping I was going to, to the door that's behind me right now. Um, but I'm not. Uh, which makes life much in more interesting. I get to pull a Yui. I don't like pulling Yui's. Not in a big truck like this. But whatever. We, we will do what we got to do here. as far over as I can get the building without clipping it and then I guess we're gonna do it do a Yui. Stay as wide as I can. Not a fan of this. But I guess we do what we gotta do sometimes. And my trailer. Hello trailer. Right now I gotta back up around the corner. Which, you know, that wasn't really as bad as I thought it was gonna be there, honestly. That could have been much worse. I'm gonna go get my doors open, actually, is what I'm gonna do. See if any of these totes fell over, which they probably did. Why don't you come with me? Break this seal, the cheap seal. What is, oh no, it stayed perfect. They were nervous that it would fall over. There's that one, that seal there. take with you with me to back up here because I need to communicate with the broker. They've really been babysitting me today. I really don't like it when brokers do that. I like it when they just leave me alone. I'm sure a lot of you guys who are truckers can understand and relate with that. I don't need babysat. All right, here we go. Well, in my dock, and uh, getting unloaded. Shouldn't take him very long. Shouldn't take him very long at all. There's not that much in there. Loads light. Oh. Looks like I turned around there. It really wasn't that bad of a back. I only pulled up once. Zipped on in. I like it that way. Um, I was gonna get on here and let you guys know I do have a load for tomorrow and it's actually, I still have the step deck and uh, that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. We got some rebar to load for tomorrow. Um, I was not expecting to get anything else um, but yeah, it's a load out of Logan Contractor Supply down out or Urbandale, uh, and it's going to Thompson. Um, pays 850 bucks. Sometimes I tell you, and sometimes I don't not pay. I tell you how much he's paying. I the only reason why I don't like that is because I don't I don't think I'll be able to get a backhaul. So I think my whole revenue for the day is that. Um, today's revenue was $1,050. Now you know. Um, 
I had been planning on telling you guys those numbers, but it just slipped out, so I might as well tell you. It's not that big of a deal. Y'all don't know my overhead. You don't know how much I make. So, we'll get out of here quick. Uh, I haven't mapped to see how far it's gonna, how long it's gonna take me to get home. But it'll be a couple hours. Two and a half hours? Three hours. No, 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 no. Wrong thing. Oh, just over two. So it'll be five, 5.30 before I, probably 5.30 before I get home. Um, tomorrow is supposed to be a hot day. Over 100 degrees outside tomorrow. Um, I don't know what the real feel is going to be, but it's it's going to be toasty. Um, the reason why I say that is because the delivery location, 98 tomorrow. The delivery location is quitting at lunch because of the heat. Obviously, it's a concrete crew, so it makes sense. They're directly out of the heat, so I got to get, I got to be down in uh, Altoona, or Altoona, Urbandale at 7 or before 7 so that I can get up there before noon. It shouldn't be a problem. And we'll see if we can get something else. I'm told that I can have this load the, the rest of the week. Same load. I may just do it. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to get back to her and say, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I should. And if I can get something else on the trailer, fine. If I can't, It is what it is. We'll get unloaded and we'll get back. guys we're we're almost back at the house and clearly school has started <laughs> ain't no doubt about it and this guy that's not how it works wow it's crowded yeah you're gonna have to get out of the way what in the world this is a zoo must be parent-teacher oriented or parent-teacher conference. Something's going on. Something different is going on than just regular school there. That's not usually how it is at 5:50 in the evening. It's got to be parent-teacher conferences. Definitely got to be. Anyway, figured I'd leave off this video with a little bit of Jake break action. And, uh, man, today was a pretty good day. We ran from Des Moines to uh, North Liberty, which I sort of forgot I did because I went so far north. Uh, then I went from Waterloo up to Cresco, Iowa, and then we just rolled on back home. That was today's agenda. It was a good day. We enjoyed it. Uh, for the most part. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a load of rebar, like I've told you before. And then once we finish the load of rebar, we're going to be added to Marshall Town Manufacturing, i.e. Menards Distribution Center. And uh, we'll be picking up a load of uh, construction material headed to, Al or to uh, Ankeny, Iowa. So tomorrow's
going to be another busy one, but it's going to be a profitable one. So, happy about that. And with that, I'll see you on the next one. Uh, well, I should say, please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. If you would, it's free. Won't hurt you one bit. Hit the like button on the video. Comment down below if you hated it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.